This video will demonstrate the donning and doffing of personal protective equipment for use in the operating room or when performing sterile procedures. This video was produced by the Department of Surgery of the University of the Philippines, Philippine General Hospital. This instructional video is intended for the operating room staff of the Philippine General Hospital. It adheres to the guidelines set by the Hospital Infection Control Unit and is adapted to the materials available at the hospital. For high-risk aerosolizing procedures and operations, a powered air purifying respirator is strongly recommended. Please refer to your institutional guidelines for other recommendations. Before donning, the healthcare worker is advised to eat beforehand, hydrate, use the restroom, and attend to any personal needs. Before donning, make sure you have changed into clean surgical scrubs and close waterproof shoes. Remove all personal items such as jewelry, watches, cell phones, and pens. Visually inspect the complete and intact personal protective equipment, which should include an alcohol-based hand disinfectant, protective coverall or suit, shoe cover, an N95 mask, face shield, goggles, surgical hood or cap, and two pairs of gloves. Donning of personal protective equipment. The inner non-sterile layer should be donned in the designated donning area and the outer sterile layer should be donned in the OR suite or at the patient area. Step 1. Perform proper hand hygiene using an alcohol-based sanitizer. If a sink is available, you may perform your surgical scrub. Step 2. Wear boot covers. Using the clean chair in the donning area, you may sit down for support and apply your boot covers one at a time. Step 3. Do hand hygiene again with an alcohol-based sanitizer. Step 4. Put on your inner non-sterile gloves, preferably with nitrile material. Step 5. Put on the protective bodysuit with arm cuffs over the gloves. Step 6. Wear the N95 mask in a tight seal. Mold the metal part of the mask over the nose bridge and make sure that there are no gaps in between the cheeks. If you have not been fit tested by your institution, you may perform a leak test. If a mask type air purifying respirator is available, you may wear it in place of the N95 mask. Step 7. Put on your goggles. If you are wearing eyeglasses, put your eyeglasses on first before your goggles. Step 8. Put on the surgical hood or cap. Hair should not be exposed. For women with long hair, the hair should be worn in a ponytail or a bun. Step 9. Put on your face shield over your goggles and mask. Step 10. Put on a second layer of outer non-sterile gloves. Step 11. Visually inspect your PPE. Make sure there is no exposed skin, hair, or clothing. Step 12. Proceed to surgical scrubbing area. Step 13. Do surgical scrub with an alcohol-based sanitizer or sterilium. Step 14. Proceed to assigned OR suite. Step 15. Put on your sterile OR gown. Make sure that the inside tie is not knotted. Step 16. Put on your sterile outer gloves. Make sure that your gear is well-fitted, complete, and intact. Doffing of personal protective equipment. The outer soiled layer should be doffed in the OR suite or patient area and the inner layer doffed in the doffing area. Step 1. Check if booties are contaminated. If there is gross contamination, sit down and remove the booties one at a time and dispose. Step 2. Untie the gown and pull down at the waist away from the body. Once the gown is off the shoulders, pull the gown one arm at a time from the sleeves. Step 3. Remove your outer gloves as you remove your gown. Bunch up your gown and gloves in a tight ball and dispose. Step 4. If you removed your booties earlier, put on a new pair of booties. Step 5. Disinfect your hand with an alcohol-based disinfectant. Step 6. Exit the OR suite. Step 7. Give the signal to enter the doffing area. Step 8. Check for signs of gross contamination of your PPE. If there is gross contamination, disinfect using an EPA-designated disinfectant wipe. Step 9. 
Disinfect your hand with an alcohol-based disinfectant. Step 10. Using the dirty chair in the doffing area, you may sit for support and remove your booties one at a time and dispose. Step 11. Disinfect your hand with an alcohol-based disinfectant. Step 12. Remove and dispose the outer gloves. Grab the cuff of one glove from the wrist and gently remove. Then hook the inner aspect of the other glove and gently pull away. Dispose the gloves immediately. Step 13. Inspect the inner gloves for tears. If there are tears, remove the inner gloves. Do hand hygiene. Put a new pair of gloves and do hand hygiene again. Step 14. Remove your face shield. In removing your face shield, tilt your head forward and grasp the garter from the back of your head and dispose of the face shield directly into the disposal. Step 15. Disinfect your hand with an alcohol-based disinfectant. Step 16. Remove the protective suit or coverall. First, remove the hood, unzip the suit, and remove the sleeves by pulling them from the outside of the suit. Then, remove the pant legs one at a time. You may sit on the designated clean chair while removing the protective suit, keeping your legs apart. Rolling the suit inside out to form a ball. Immediately dispose the protective suit in the disposal area. Step 17. Disinfect your hand with an alcohol-based disinfectant. Step 18. Remove your inner gloves. Grab the cuff of one glove from the wrist and gently remove. Then hook the inner aspect of the other glove and gently pull away. Dispose the gloves immediately. Step 19. Disinfect your hand with an alcohol-based disinfectant. Step 20. Put on a new set of gloves. Step 21. Leave the doffing area and proceed to the decontamination area. Step 22. Remove your goggles and personal eyewear if you have them. Decontaminate your personal eyewear with EPA-designated disinfectant wipes. Step 23. Disinfect your hand with an alcohol-based disinfectant. Step 24. Remove your N95 mask. In removing the N95 mask, do not touch the outer part of the mask. Remove the garter one at a time from the back of the head and shoot the mask directly at the waste disposal. Step 25. Disinfect your hand with an alcohol-based disinfectant. Step 26. Decontaminate your shoes with an EPA-designated disinfectant wipe or step on the provided decontaminating mat. Step 27. Disinfect your hand with an alcohol-based disinfectant. Step 28. Remove your inner gloves. Grab the cuff of one glove from the wrist and gently remove. Then hook the inner aspect of the other glove and gently pull away. Dispose the gloves immediately. Step 29. Disinfect your hands one last time. Step 30. Inspect for rips, tears, or gross contamination on clothing. If there are any, Immediately report this to the trained observer. Step 31. Proceed to the shower room to shower and change into clean clothes or scrub suit. If proceeding to a level 2 zone, wear a new pair of goggles and a surgical mask.